to Aspenet TV, bringing you insight and information into the world of business and entrepreneurship. Today, the team and I are in the heart of Northwest London at Marbet. Let's go take a look. We're here with Sophie Ann, who's the store manager of Marbeck in Camden Town. So Sophie, tell us about the idea of Marbeck. How did the idea come about? Marbeck start with a bomber, a bomber jacket. So we asked some uh, artists to wear it. So it's the camo print bomber jacket. It's our famous iconic print. So this one was the first one. So people really liked it. So we made a few versions of it. We've done as well t-shirt. And then is the way Marbeck start. So people wanted more. So we've done a coll an, another collection with that. Uh, we've done a gray collection, um, a khaki collection. And then so is the way the business grow up. And um, now we, are, we, are, we have a real audience. So we are really proud of it. And then we just uh, try to keep, to keep it up. So what steps follow do you like during the creative process when it comes to um, creating clothes for Marbeck? So the creative process is mostly we are following the trends and um, we are doing as well um, inspiration about everything around us. And so the designer are downstairs at the store, so you have the office downstairs and basically it's a small team so everyone are able to give some ideas so it's really, it's really nice for that. And um, so yes, the inspiration is from everywhere, from other other brands, uh, the competitors, and because you need to work with them. And um, so yes, this is the way you should you should work. I think a business. Yeah. But at Marbeck, do you create um, one-off um, like pieces, for example, you know, t-shirts and stuff, or? Do you go and create a full outfit based on the trends? We've done that before, but now since the store is open, we have to fill up a store. So we need to do a proper collection. We was doing capsule collection, so is what what you say about the one the one piece. Um, but now, as we have to fill up this th those rails, we need to do a proper collection. Has this one is one of the um, the basic collection we're gonna do. So our main pieces were going to be the bombers oh, yeah. so we uh, every time going to have three bombers uh, to present for each each collections and tracksuit as well is one of the pieces we want to 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 put as an iconic one yeah. so yes a proper collection going to be uh, we're going to start that the full collection because now the store is open on the next collection spring and summer 2018, so in March. Do you, like, you've done a lot to fill up the store, I actually did have a lot of So what advice would you give to a young person who's starting out a clothing line? The, the best uh, advice is just try, you know, don't be afraid of, of uh, trying, I think is the first step. And um, I think may, basically a business, to start a business is always hard. You have like some down, um, step but you have also really good one mm -hmm. like the the fact that we opened this store it's a really exciting moment for us because we was online has um since three or four years now yeah. and um don't be afraid and just uh, try to make your dream come true like most businesses you never really know if they're going to take off so when it came to Marbit, was it like you was 100% confident in the actual business or would you kind of one foot in and one foot out? No, I don't think you're 100% sure about anything. You, you need to just analyze what you're doing and the business around you. And uh, you're always going to have like down periods and a period, but you need to be aware of. Yeah. And um, I think it's the way of every business is like work. So you just need to keep going and keep going because the failures I think are basically bring something something bright I think and did you expect Marbeck to be where it is now uh, so me I'm here since few months now 
Uh, I knew the brand before, but I, I didn't know that they wanted to do a store. And I think it's, it's a really big step. And I think it's, a, it's, it's something that they are really proud. We are really proud of. It's a big step and then we want it to be there and we are here, so yeah. we are really happy about that. We need to grow up with the, the traffic in stores. Yeah. This is a really cha a big challenge for us as well because people know knows us from online yeah. and now we have a physics store, so we need definitely to, to bring people in. So, so Vian, what is the next step for Marbeck? We're going to do uh, events here to bring people in, uh, in the store. The next step is just, yes, grow up the audience, doing other collections and basically have a proper, a proper identity, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, because now we, we start with the camo print, but we are more than that. We are more than the camo print. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, so Vian. Thank you. As a custom of every episode of Aspenek TV, we have the Aspenek Challenge. And this is our opportunity to either win some free Marbet gear or we have to pay for it. So, question number one. In 2005, Kanye West stated that he... <laughs> In 2005. <laughs> Just take the t-shirt now. <laughs> So the number one question, in 2005, Kanye West stated he was expecting his first child, which was in fact a fashion label. Mm -hmm. What was the name of the fashion label? A, Pastel, B, Rockaway, C, East to West, D, Yeezy Wear. If I'm correct, it should be Pastel. <laughs> you know what I'm like, huh? <laughs> All right, question two. The New York-based magazine GQ is an international men's magazine which focuses on fashion, style and culture for men. However, what does GQ stand for? Is it A, Gents Quintessential, B, Gentlemen's Quarterly, C, Gender Quality? I'm going to go with A. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what quintessential is, but um, the answer, <laughs> What's the answer? The answer is B, what? Gentleman's Quarter. Oh, they don't release the magazine quarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, take that for them. <laughs> Question number three. Gucci, the Italian brand, was founded by Gucci or Gucci in which Italian city? Was it A, Florence, B, Milan, C, Turin, or D, Rome? Ooh. <laughs> um... No clues. <laughs> <laughs> say it one more time. Say the answer, options one more time. Okay. You got Florence, Milan, Turin, or Rome? Milan. You was wrong. Oh, oh, Florence, Florence, Florence. <laughs> Florence, Florence. It's wrong. <laughs> All right, number question number four. Versace's Florence. <laughs> question four. Versace's first boutique outside of Italy was in which of these cities? A. London. B. Glasgow. C. Paris. Or D. Munich. I'm just guessing, bro. Paris. The answer is Glasgow. Who the hell knows that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I ain't never seen any Scottish person wearing Versace in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Intellectual property is categorised by four main groups. Which of the four groups of IP would a logo fall under? Is it A, trademarks, B, patents, C, copyright, or D, trade secrets? <laughs> <laughs> Um, should be, if I'm correct, A. Hey, finally. finally. Yeah. He's right. He's right. So what's that? Who wins? You win, because <laughs> we got two and you got three. No, you got three. Yeah, you got three. Yeah, yeah, you got two correct. Don't worry, it's all right. 
you got two. Doesn't matter, we already won. So <laughs> Marbeck is really hot apparel. It's fresh, it's modern, and it's what you see on the streets. So I recommend everybody comes down to the store and gives it a chance. Camden Town, you know where it's at. Thank you so much, Laddie Alexander. A fancy designer name right there. Check that <laughs> out. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for having us. It's Aspenek TV. <laughs>